Good morning everyone, today we're going to be talking about how to farm all the different materials needed to upgrade your armors because it is incredibly easy. But before we jump into all of that, if you're new to the channel, I upload NGS content daily, so if you do play this game, I would really appreciate a subscribe as it really helps out the channel. Anyway, without further ado, let's begin the video. So the very first thing I want to talk about is, as you can see on the top right corner, the bunny carol counter has hit 200. For those who do not know, when we hit 200, you guys get to make my next outfit. So definitely make sure to tune into tonight's live stream as we will be going into the salon and you guys will pretty much be deciding what my uh, 2025 look is going to look like. Now with that out of the way, let us talk about the new materials needed. So the very first material I want to talk about is the Ixtase Vance over here. So this is going to be one of your bottlenecks as you are going to need a lot of this. Well, actually, you only need 150 of these in order to upgrade all three armors. Remember, each armor only requires 50 of these. Now, currently, there are two efficient ways to farm for this material. The first and most well-known method is, of course, to go to the new rank 2 nuisance plant. Just farm over here and you will accumulate this relatively quickly. The thing that gives you this is actually the bosses at the end of the PSE burst whenever you kill them they pretty much guarantee you one to two of these drops every single time. Now that you know this, do not be demotivated and be like, oh my god, how many PSE bursts do we actually need to do in order to get 150 of these? Is because you don't actually need 150, you actually only need to farm about 75. And the reason I say this is because there is a limited time task over here called Augment Armor. All you need to do is add a single augment to any armor and you actually get 75 of this material. Remember, it only costs 50 per armor, so you only need a total of 150 in total. So you just need to farm 75, complete this task over here, and boom, you've got 150. As for the other material, it is, of course, the pro-grade grinders. You get this like candy. You literally just farm in Nuisance Plant, or if you want to wait for next week, you can farm in Deck Space, and you will get a ton of pro-grade grinders. They literally shower you with this. I got like 100 of them in like half an hour hour so you will be able to obtain a ton of these very very quickly so currently you can see i only have 84 of these extase fans material so we are going to need to augment so we can just add an augment into any random armor so we can go to add augment over here let's go to all storage let's find a random armor it doesn't even have to be an uh, ecstasis armor to be honest it can literally be anything but we're just going to click on the ecstasis armor let us add an endemio onto this armor since it's a 100 success rate you literally just put one in we're going to do confirm we're going to pop that endemio in confirm and wabam as you can see we got that material and uh, we're done so now when we look at my inventory you can see i've got 165 of these now so we are all ready to make our new armors in order to make our new armors we are going to need to come to the item trader over here scroll all the way to the very bottom at equipment upgrade augment transfer and here are all the different armors you've got the regular dose stasis armor again this is the balance build you've got the vita armor which is the tanky build and you have the vo armor which is the more offensive based pp build uh, now, personally, I don't really see any use of going VO unless you are being capped out because you don't have enough PP or whatever. Um, then sure, definitely you can go with VO if you want. But personally, as I said in yesterday's video, I think the Vita armor is the best bang for your buck. So we're going to click on this and then we're going to go down my inventory. You're going to see that my armors don't show up. So at the very beginning, you're going to be like, wait a second, why haven't your armor showed up? And the reason is because I currently have my armors locked. So you have to unlock your armors over here. However, just unlocking your armors is not enough. You actually need to take off all of your armors as well. You need to unequip all of them in order for them to actually show up in the item trader. So now that we've unlocked the armors as well as unequipped the armor, again, we're going to go to equipment upgrade over here, scroll to the very bottom and click on the Vita armors. We are going to go to inventory and you can see they pop up now. All of my fix of five orcs with all of my augments. We're going to click on the armor. We're going to put in all of the different materials needed and we're going to do confirm. 
As you can see over here, it will upgrade it into the Dose Stasis Armor Vita, plus 90. It, the Fixa transfers over, all of my Augments transfer over, everything transfers over. And we're going to say confirm, and wabam, our armors are complete. Now, do keep in mind that you definitely want to make at least one Dose Stasis Armor, because as you saw earlier, we just completed another limited time task, which gives us the weapon camo, as well as 1.5 million Meseta. So you definitely want to make at least one Dose Stasis Armor, even if you're not planning to use it, just so that you can get that 1.5 million Meseta. Alright, now that we've exchanged our first piece of armor, the other two are exactly the same. Click on our armor, put in all the required materials, confirm, wabam. Second piece is now complete, and now we can exchange the last piece. Boom, boom, boom. Complete. And there we go, we have completed all of our armors, now we can actually equip them, so we click on this. Uh, I do highly recommend you to relock all of your weapons and your armors, it's very important that you actually do that, so you don't accidentally salvage it or use it or sell it or whatever, alright? Now that that is done, we're simply going to equip it, so wabam, wabam, and wabam. And there we go, our battle power is now 4,377, and the amount of HP that we have is kind of ridiculous. We actually now have 1,527 HP, 234 PP, and uh, basically 80% floor potency, and the regular potency is still the same. So uh, yeah, this was overall a big upgrade for me in the defense department. I know defense doesn't really equate to like, oh, faster clears or anything, but this extra HP does allow me to survive a lot more hits and does give me that peace of mind that I'm never going to get one shot regardless of what I'm fighting. Special thanks to all the members for supporting the channel. It really means a lot to me. Thank you again. But yeah, that's all I wanted to cover in today's video. Hopefully you guys found it helpful. If you did, I would appreciate a like and a subscribe. And I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye.